where are the best markets where rental property investors can get the highest returns, right? That's what I'm talking about today. I want to find you guys the best markets that you're not even thinking about. Go over a real deal where you can make the most money possible for a very teeny tiny budget. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, the show where I help investors, investors like you, regular people just looking at their phones right now, trying to get in the game. Regular people like my man, Carson. Carson, you're not a state investor. We can invest anywhere, dog. We can do it wherever we want. It's 2021. We got the internet. We got Holton Wise TV. We have things set up. You don't have to be limited to investing in your backyard. Why invest where you live just because you live there, right? Live where you want, invest where it makes sense, right? That's what I help you do. And today, Carson, I got a property in Ohio near the Cleveland market. It's technically in the Cleveland market, but it's not in Cleveland, right? Cleveland is a very popular real estate market for rental property investors, you know, as is Indy, KC, Detroit, right? Low-cost markets a lot of people think about. This one, you've probably never heard of it, okay, unless you watch my show a lot. I've, I've done several properties in this little market, but unless you've heard of this one, it's totally off the map, off the radar, and I think the numbers make a lot of sense. I think it's even more attractive than Cleveland, and Cleveland is considered to be one of the best rental markets. I think this one might be even better. Details on everything after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just creating a motivated seller's list using the free software trial I got from Holton Wise TV. Oh my, Steve. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. As I said, we are going to find low-cost rentals. Where are the low-cost rentals? Where are the best low-cost markets? There's a ton of them, okay? There's a ton of low-cost markets in the United States of America, one of which is Cleveland, Ohio, but we're going to go even deeper than that, all right? Even deeper than Cleveland, because this is not in Cleveland. This is west of Cleveland in a little suburb called Elyria. You don't hear anything on the national spotlight about Elyria. LeBron James didn't bring Elyria Cavaliers a championship in 2016. Baker Mayfield doesn't play for the Elyria Browns, no. Nobody's talking about Elyria, and because of that, Cleveland is higher priced than Elyria because Cleveland's on the map as a place that a lot of out-of-state investors go. They think Cleveland. They never think Elyria. Cleveland itself, that is one of the best, most popular, low-cost rental income markets in the United States. Nothing wrong with that, but that's why you're here. You're here with me because I go even deeper for you, right? I go even deeper. We go a little bit west. We are based in Cleveland. We still manage out here. 254 Lake Avalaria, 44035. This thing's been on the market for quite a while, priced at 75.9. A lot of people aren't paying attention to this. In addition, it's got tenants in there that are paying a little bit below market rent, which is good. That's allowing us to keep this value low, okay? Now, nice house, it's got central air, okay? You don't see that a lot in the Cleveland market. You don't see a lot of central air. Guys, central air is going to make you a ton of freaking money because not all the rentals have them, especially in these, like, C-grade neighborhoods, okay? They don't have central air. Does central air, like, take your $1,000 a month rental and make it a $1,200 a month rental? No. No, it doesn't. But you know what it does? It keeps your tenants in your properties longer, which is going to save you thousands and thousands of dollars in regards to your turnover costs. And we got a tenant in here, and they're paying below market. They're paying seven fifty, but this house is nice, man. This is a really nice C-grade rental. So this is worth a lot more, okay? So we're going to take advantage of the fact that the current landlord has given these folks a little bit of a discount. Not all landlords are the same. Not everybody knows what they're doing. A lot of landlords are mom-and-pop landlords. All right, so we're going to take advantage of that, take advantage of the fact that Elyria is a little bit off the map, okay? So 
People aren't focusing on it because not a lot of investors are looking at Illyria. Not a lot of investors are interested in a $750 rental because they don't realize how much you could actually rent for. That's why it's been on the market for so long. That's why I believe I could pick it up for you for a freaking discount. Seventy grand would be an insane price for this. Why? Because this is really a ten fifty a month rental, right? Should be able to generate twelve thousand six hundred dollars a year. After you pay for your fixed and variable expense estimates, you're looking at clearing a little bit over six, right? Almost six thousand four hundred, right? And this is where it gets super juicy, man. The financing, all you gotta put down is seventeen and a half, bank kicks in the other fifty two with the market rent. As our metric, you're looking at a 21.3% cash on cash return, right? As far as getting that tenant up, we'll do it slowly, right? 50 bucks this year, 50 bucks the next year, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, right? We don't want to just try to boot them out and then get a new tenant at 10.50 because to do that, we got to do a little turnover, right? We don't want to do the turnover, right? That's going to spend some money. Just like the AC is awesome, not because it increases the rental value, it keeps people in the units. That's what we want to do. As investors, the number one return killer is turnover. Guess what? As investors, we're going to get turnover. It's part of the fucking business, all right? So what we don't ever want to do, we never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, want to create an artificial turnover. So we got a proven, screened, paying tenant. We know this tenant pays because he's been paying the landlord, right? The proof's in the pudding. So what we want to do is keep that tenant in there as long as we can. Our goal is to get to the market rate of 1050. But we don't want to do so by being too aggressive and kicking out the tenant because now you have to go ahead and turn the unit. Don't add a necessary unnecessary five, six, seven thousand dollar turn to get it totally spick and span ready to go for new market tenants, right? Current tenant, they're digging it, right? They already live there, all their stuff's in there. All like the bumps in the walls or the nicks here, the nicks there. The fact that the carpet's a hell of a lot cleaner in the like uh, under where your bed is, under where your couch is, than like the walk areas, right? Doesn't bother this tenant, right? It's, it's all their shit, right? But you ain't going to rent that to a brand new tenant. Can't be fucking empty looking like that, right? That's just how it is, okay? So we got to keep that tenant in there, folks. But long term, 1050 rental. This thing's a killer. Makes a lot of sense. This is one of the best, most profitable rental markets in the world, in the United States, even in the Cleveland area, and people ain't paying attention to it. But your boy, James Wise, is, and that's what you pay me for. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.